the name of Jesus, welcome to our core continuing order of religious education. We greet you in the precious, miraculous name of Jesus. Jesus is our rock, our refuge, and our redeemer. We praise you for tuning in. And tonight I want to, from 1 Peter chapter 1, I just want to pick up something that I think we really need to hear. God has predetermined God has preoccupied, God has pre-provided our security prior to any problems, pitfalls, or personal preemptions. And one of the things that we have to understand, this justifies the fact that God sends our deliverance before our difficulties, that our deliverance is waiting on our difficulties that God has already predetermined our, amen, victory. Peter tries to pull this out in, in 1 Peter chapter 1. And, and what Peter does, and, and it's like, uh, is really deep. God, he pardons and he promotes and he preempts. But what tends to happen is that Peter puts emphasis on our inheritance. Let me stop pausing part. If you say born again, blood washed, blood bought, if you've asked Christ to come into your life and be Lord of your life he's and Savior, and your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you have an inheritance. Listen, and this inheritance is our security. It's our security before our vulnerability. It's our security in spite of what's coming in our lives, in spite of what's happening, in spite of all of the turmoil that we find ourselves in, in spite of our lack of faith, in spite of our feelings and our fractures and our pitfalls. God has given us an inheritance. What is inheritance? I'm glad you asked. He has given us, Lord have mercy, a, amen, a will. He's written out a will of inheritance that these things are yours before anything starts happening. So this inheritance is our security. And that's why when, when Isaiah 54 says, no weapon formed against you, your inheritance prevents weapons from taking you out. Your inheritance prevents, prevents your, dis, de, listen, uh, uh, depressions and your down, your down lows, your down looking, your, 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 your anger, your, 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 your fractures, your faithlessness. Your inheritance has something to say about that. Because you are written in the land's book of life. Listen, it is your security. So God gives us a security. Listen to this. He gives us a security in our inheritance prior to any problems. So I don't care what problems come in your life. I don't care what pitfalls come in your life. I don't care how low you get. Because I'm born again, blood washed, blood bought, saved in Jesus Christ, my inheritance is going to give me a security. I am secure in Christ. I am secure and we know that all things are working together for the good. God is at work. He that had begun a good work in you will keep on doing it to the day of Jesus Christ. He has made promises, listen, for our security. He, he remembers our frames of dust. He remembers we are weak, we're wounded, we're weary, we're worn out. We, we, we go high and low, high and low. And, but God has given us an inheritance in Jesus. That is our security. I am secure in Christ. I don't care how weak I get, how wounded I feel, how messed up I am, and I get that way sometimes. I have an inheritance in Jesus Christ. Peter pulls that out. Our inheritance, listen, is our security. But secondly, our inheritance 
pardons our sin and move Satan. That's in our inheritance. God has given us an inheritance. It's in the will. It's in the covenant. It's in the promises of God that he will not allow you and I to go but so low. That inheritance. It's in 1 Peter chapter 1. Read it. We are royal priesthood, holy nation, peculiar people. Amen. Born twice, die once. We're going to heaven. We're name, our name is in the Lamb's book of life. And, and, and the Holy Spirit is praying for us, Romans chapter 8. And, and everything is going to work out, Romans chapter 8. And my faith and focus and faithfulness is in Jesus. Ah, it's all in the inheritance. I'm rich. Because Jesus is rich. I'm spiritually rich. I may feel poor. I may feel like giving up. I may feel like throwing the towel in. But I'm rich because of my inheritance. My inheritance, Lord have mercy, is God providing me a security. God pardoning my ongoing sins and deflecting Satan's influences. That's all in my inheritance. Be gone, Satan. <laughs> Be gone. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the shepherd of my life. The Lord is Lord of my life. The Lord is my bread and my water. The Lord is my foundation. The Lord is my strength. Listen to this. It's all in the inheritance. So the inheritance protects me with security, pardons me from my sin and Satan, but it provides for me a new praise. God lets us get low, feel weak, feel wounded, feel weary, feel like throwing the towel in, and then God does something to make us praise I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, it's all in the inheritance. The inheritance was in place before the foundation of the world. The inheritance is in before my infliction starts. The inheritance is in before my inward feelings falter. The inheritance was in place, amen, before Satan could get hold of my inward parts. I have an inheritance that God cannot lie. He's going to bring me out with all power in his hand. Just my inheritance. Just my inheritance. I'm a royal priesthood. I'm a holy nation. I'm peculiar. I want you to read 1 Peter chapter 1. Read through Peter and see what Peter has to say. Peter was weak. Peter was wounded. Peter was impulsive. Peter was just like us, fleshly. But God turned him into a small rock. Why? Off the big rock. Why? Because he had an inheritance. And everybody that gets saved has an inheritance. Read the will. Read the covenant. Read what belongs to you. Because of Jesus, hallelujah, I am protected with security. That's why I can't go back in the world. That's why I can't get high. That's why I can't act a fool because I have a security in my mind and in my heart. My, it's in my inheritance. Not only do I have a security in my mind and my heart, Lord have mercy. In Philippians 4 says, he will put a guard around your heart and mind, which is in Christ Jesus. It's in my inheritance. It's a provision, hallelujah, from Jesus for my security. Amen. And then, and then my inheritance, 
hallelujah, is not only my security, but my inheritance. As we, as we just talked about, hallelujah, pardons all my sin. We sin every day. God wants us to confess, say the same thing he's saying. That's for fellowship, not for relationship. Once you're in, you're in. Once you save, you save. First John says, if we confess our sins, or since we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. My inheritance provides security. My inheritance pardons my sin, and it moves Satan. And my inheritance, listen to this now, puts a new praise on my lips. I will bless the Lord, hallelujah, at all times. Try this out. The more you praise Jesus, the less, the less you're messed up. The more you praise Jesus, the more peace you have. The more you praise Jesus, the more power you have. The more you praise Jesus, the more provisions you have. All in my inheritance. Do you know what's in the will for you? You got to read it. You got to read it. Because Jesus died, I died. Because Jesus was buried, I was buried. Because Jesus rose, I rose victoriously. We're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. When Jesus got up, we got up with him. You got to talk back to that devil. Devil, you a liar. I have an inheritance in Jesus. I'm protected, I'm pardoned, and I'm going to praise him. God bless you. Have a great Wednesday evening. Jesus loves you, and I do too.